I've been thinking about what to do with your address since I found it. Good luck with me. Rest in peace, Blake. Every night I have a wet dream of you falling off the face of the earth, violent mm -hmm. or otherwise. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be turning my pain into content for your enjoyment, which is actually really nothing new. I woke up today and I was like, you know what? I need to film a video, but what topic do I want? Something that's not as serious and as dark as my last couple videos. And um, I thought, why not read off the death threats that I get from trans activists on a minute to minute basis to you guys? How fucked up and damaged am I that I don't consider death threats to be a serious topic? I mean, on a real note, I've been doing this for four years and it just kind of comes with the territory. Unless someone... I've been doing everything I do online for about four years now and it kind of comes with the territory. But unless someone's literally at my door, which actually has happened, then I'm really not going to take it super serious unless it's really bad. And we will read some really bad ones here today, but I thought that... It'd be interesting to show you guys the DMs that I get. So if you ever catch me not being super responsive in DMs, I might not be checking because I might not want to read, you know, messages about how I need to die. So it's no secret that I am the, I usually say black sheep of the trans community. Let's say outcast. <laughs> Let's say that. Um, because it's really just trans activists that send me the worst hate that I get. A lot of people are like, oh, do you get, you know, like rednecks and transphobic people sending you like hateful messages? No, not really. It's usually just trans activists. Um, <laughs> so let's just jump right into it, shall we? And because I'm not as low and as despicable as the individuals are going to be uh, responding to today, I'm not going to show their handles or their screen names or their emails because I don't want anyone to go send hate their way. Lord knows they're probably a lot more mentally fragile than me. They couldn't take it. Uh, but <laughs> I will, however, be showing their faces along with their messages because um, you'll see. So this lovely little lady says, lucky you're moving. I've been thinking about what to do with your address since I found it. Good luck with me. Rest in peace, Blake. So she's either deliberately calling me Blake, which I think is so funny how trans activists are the first ones to um, use that kind of a card against a trans woman, um, or that's a typo. Don't really know. But it's just so crazy to use someone being doxxed in their address to intimidate them. You can say a lot of things about me, and I know I'm messy. I'm a messy ass bitch. This is nothing new. Everyone who knows me knows it. Everyone who doesn't know me but hears about me knows it. It's true. But I would never fix my mouth to threaten someone physically or fix my little Twitter fingers, I guess I should better say. So I guess to this person I would say, actually, you're lucky I'm moving because if you decided to come to my address, um, it ended up really bad for you, not me. I promise you that. Boom. <laughs> So this one's less of a threat so much as it is a wish. It says, die f which is hilarious because again, the only people that ever call me any anti-gay slurs, calling me a gay man or anything like that, are typically radical trans activists. And honestly, isn't it adorable slash mind-numbing that their profile picture says support trans rights? Except for Blair White. Duh. This person who has a severe self-confidence issue considering they're showing only the lower half of their face says, too bad it wasn't you, poor Eden. And obviously they're referring to the attack on Eden the doll, Jasmine and uh, Jocelyn that happened. I talked about it in my last video. They were brutally attacked. And so again, it's so funny how you know, I had Eden's back despite any of the beef that we ever had. And some of you guys know about that, some of you don't. Because trans woman to trans woman, it was disgusting what happened to her. So I don't know how this person as a trans person can convince themselves that I'm just so evil and such a bad person that I deserve to be, you know, in a transphobic physical assault. This is what happens when you allow your ideology to taint your mind to such a degree that you are literally convinced that anyone who strays from that is evil. Because once you do that, you can pretty much justify anything happening to them and even wish certain things happen to them. Like not even about being trans, but like wishing that on any type of person is foul. You're foul, log off, delete your account. So this next one is such a level of crazy that I don't even, <laughs> I might have to read this to Joey to get his reaction because it's so sick. So this one, I gotta give them their props, was very creative. They emailed my business email, titled the email sponsorship offer, and you know I don't get many of those, so I was definitely clicking that shit. And um, you'll see. Hi Blair, first of all I'm thinking you spelled my name wrong, bad intro to a business deal. Whenever that happens, I just don't respond because it's kind of a baseline of respecting someone's name right. You said this email was for only business inquiries, so here's mine. Jump off that balcony you keep posting on your Instagram. You have made my life and the lives of all trans feminine people insurmountably more difficult. 
Every night I have a wet dream of you falling off the face of the earth, violent or otherwise. That even makes sense. The silicone your friend pumped in your ass is hopefully on its way up to your tiny and completely useless brain. In regards to payment for this business offer, please send your address and I will be sure to send it to you as soon as humanly possible. Thank you very much for your consideration at this time. Wow. Again, the level of depravity. Like, I can tell when something is a troll and when something is really someone like furiously typing and just so mad. And the fact that this one's so premeditated and thought out, like, she wanted me to see that. <laughs> if this person didn't send this email from a psych ward, I'm really hoping they end up there soon because that is like really crazy. <laughs> Joey, I want to read you this email. Come here. It's so crazy. Okay, I just already read them the email, so I'm going to speed through it. Hi Blair, you sent this email. First of all, the email is titled Sponsorship Offer. Okay. Hi Blair, you sent this email was only business inquiry, so here's mine. Jump off that balcony and keep posting on your Instagram. You have made my life and the lives of all trans feminine people insurmountably more difficult. Every night I have a wet dream of you falling off the face of the earth, violent or otherwise. The silicone you pumped in your ass is hopefully on its way up to your tiny and completely useless brain. Damn. In regards to payment for this business offer, please send your address and I'll be sure to send it to you as soon as humanly possible. Thank you very much for your consideration at this time. That is a lot. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Did you send that? Listen. Address? <laughs> yeah, totally. If they never talk about any of the trans people that come to your shows or like write you nice messages, you, you help a lot of people. I've seen it. I've seen people cry. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just so funny because at the end of the day, I feel like I do work towards like the same kind of goal as a lot of these people because like at the end of the day, I am sort of trying to normalize trans people and all of that stuff. I just do it in a different type of way. And in my opinion, it's more effective the way I do it. I have people every second commenting on my stuff saying, I've never thought of a trans person in a good way until I saw you. And it's like half of these trans activists, the only people they're speaking to are people who already agree with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real. And people identify with the more personal stories that you tell, like the people will find part of themselves in anything you do. So. Right. All right, that's enough kissing my ass. Be gone. Bye. Bye. So I bet you're wondering if I ever like go to the popo about any of these types of messages and stuff. Only when it's really direct. Like the one I, I think I shared one a few months ago in a video. It was this, um, I'll even put her name because I put her name in the last one. Diana Ramsey, who said, honestly, I live within driving distance of Little Miss Blair. Like her, I own implements and know how to use them. I could take her out from a distance. It would be my pleasure to erase this trash from earth. That's crazy. And that was more of like a direct type of thing. I've dealt with like the authorities over this kind of stuff enough to know they have to make like a direct, direct, direct type of claim. Otherwise, nothing happens. I mean, as it shouldn't, it should be direct to get consequences, but you know. So here's one that was going around in a trans Facebook group. A lot of this is on Facebook, by the way. I don't know what it is with trans groups on Facebook, but they are something else. Meet Blair White, public enemy number one, code name, the Blair Bitch Project. I should trademark that. But here's the kicker. First of all, the public enemy number one thing. And then they put a target on my forehead. Like these people really want me taken out. <laughs> so here's the thing. I see a lot of people on television or on the internet, social media, YouTube, whatever, who I look at and I listen to them speak or I see what they do and I'm like, wow, that person really sucks. I don't like that person. But I would never in my most like compromised state, like mentally, emotionally, substances, like anything. I would never think to wish harm on that person or try to incite harm on that person. And I know I'm sort of saying something very basic, like don't hurt people, but like, I feel like that almost needs to be said. I feel like lately in the world, we've gotten to such a point. I mean, look at everything that's happening in the country and in major cities right now. It's like, we're seeing the complete dehumanization of people who think differently than us, who behave in ways we don't necessarily approve. Like we're justifying so many bad things. I don't know, but hey, you have to laugh about it because if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Just kidding. I would never shed a tear for you, but <laughs> with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're not, I know you've watched four or five videos. I know you're probably going to watch four or five more. You might as well just subscribe and be part of the family. I don't have any friends, so I need subscribers. Make sure you follow my Twitter and my Instagram because I post on there way more than I do on here. So you gotta follow those to keep up with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.